Welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care. See, in this video, I am going to tell you how to remove the shard in advanced level. Why I am telling in advanced level? See, all of many of uh, technicians knows how to remove the shard in basic levels. Basic in the sense, see here, what are these? If you remove some capacitors, the shard will get removed, right? So, behind that, so many cases are there. Then also, you unable to uh, I mean uh, remove that shard in that cases what will be the tricks what tricks we have to use those things I am going to explain you okay see I will tell you this particular motherboard history the model number is what is it LAK491P this one is latest generation motherboard maybe 11th or 12th I don't know exactly okay it has come from a dealer hmm? It's already done the work has done from other side then also there will be no use but I did actually so after that I am going to explain you how to do those kind of tricks okay so this video is especially those technicians who are not able to unable to spend more money around 25k to 50k for thermal cameras okay remember those who have it's okay not for you but who don't have for them i'm telling you how to remove this kind of tricks hmm? in cold test only you have to do the basic thing is the five volts always was short here okay what is that five volts always was short short in the sense if you keep the multimeter with the ground it will be zero but here there was no zero it was giving 35 impedance okay it's a 35 impedance was there in that condition how to remove see i already given a hint it's actually not 19 volts it's a 5 volts always was the short in that condition first suspect is the jumper first the condition is jumper this jumper has removed okay then also there was short and here one more thing I am going to tell you. See, are you able to see this one? What is that? Just a bit. I'll maximize it. See the jumper? What you are seeing here? It's dots. What it indicates? See, here is a jumper I removed. But here you are able to see the dots this dot indicates the track just a word see this track will go to all over the motherboard here 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 anywhere it will go where are the five volts required those components it will connect correct here and here also right so that is a jumper and here also one more jumper i joined here but why i joined I, that also i'll explain you see when we disconnect this actually here also was short and here also was short okay see one more time you can see this this dot will connect to other part okay when we disconnect at least one side the shot has to gone but then also we are getting three five beep means it's impedance okay in that case what i did i removed this one then here shot has gone but again here shot was there this kind okay when i suspect this is the five volts i see i removed then this section shot has gone from where to where see here to here this 5 volts always p will come now that first shot has gone completely it, got, it has gone but here if you click here if you check then also i was getting the impedance 35 beep impedance 35 in the sense it's a beep only right then what i did see the advanced level will start here here actually completely same track correct this side is connected to this path 
because from here only along the motherboard it will go means where 5 volts always is required that part it will go okay here what i did here i cut the track completely see from here to here i cut the track then here short has removed it means here was the short means this track where it will go there we need to check one by one okay see in normal mode the capacitor we removed and then so we were getting it's not completely zero there was 35 impedance okay here is the one point okay here if you cut this track then you come to know the short will be here or this side so then here it's clear now we need to identify where it has gone so one by one i'll tell you where it was there see here is the first that led section this j led section here 5 volts will come in this condition we can't do anything okay that's why i left it it will come to this ic it is yeah u13 here it will come okay what we have to do we have to remove the capacitor i removed here then also i mean not i or previous person whatever it may be the short was the same 13 impedance then this condition we need to remove this we need to check then also the impedance was the same okay just i'll move forward a little bit fast and it was here touchpad here and us ushs here also we will get but we can't do anything here then i moved here where exactly see here only this part just a minute here on track here see here on track got cut this track through this track the 5 volts always will convert to 5 volts bt okay bt that goes to this section this is actually what is that pdic pdic what it does see here two pdic are there one and two this two pdic will be controlled by that particular pdic sorry that type c is controlled by this particular pdic okay the track is see here is the one processor and here is the other processor this processor is comes from this it will control through this and it will go to this pdic okay here also same this processor will control this pd and it will come to this what is that pdic okay now the main issue was inside this pdic also it was there was short then what i did i cut the track here see just observe here here is the track cut and here also i cut the track because here and here 5 volts will be there then i realized this side what the short was there it got cut i mean disconnected okay here actually first track i cut here then also some beep was there here here also beep and here also beep when i cut these two path then year to year beep has gone it means some short is there in this pdic okay i re i realized and i removed the ic see the pd this pd ic i removed and then the 5 volts short has gone only this area means what are the 5 volts bt that completely clear and what about 5 volts always okay this section is clear and still the 5 volts always was giving 35 impedance beep see one year uh, we found it's a good uh, news actually good news it was uh, problem with this one but the impedance uh, really i tell you why the 35 impedance it was showing the main reason is the previous person has injected the voltage here 5 volt section 
instead of zero i mean it may be short completely short instead of zero that damage so mother ices okay the internal track was the short that is the reason you are getting only 35 or below impedance not exactly zero in that condition it's very difficult to find out exactly see in case of completely zero we can find out exactly what icr what uh, component with the problem okay anyway so in this condition again we need to go forward here actually there was no 5 volts just a minute there was no 5 volts track was the problem so next we moved other side okay one by one i'll tell you here is the power button here is the power button led has 5 volts we can't do anything here there is no short okay then we moved this side this side okay here is the track when i removed this then also same issue was there and when i cut this track here actually dot was there here like this so when i cut this then also the same but here this side problem gone means here i understood this side i mean this component there is no issue again this track we need to search right so then again we went to these ic's here actually two ic's are there two ic's here bias has 5 volts bias has 5 volts okay 5 volts then when we remove this ic then also there is no use okay there was no use then what we did we did we went to some other sections see here 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 is the ic here also the same here one two and uh, here one more ic is there just here okay these all are tc to dc ic's almost so those ICs we found, we removed these ICs, then also short not removed. So then this is the final one here, okay. When actually here also 5 volts and here it's the dot actually, see, dot. It has come from other uh, side. When we removed this IC, then also we found the same issue, okay. What issue? The 35 impedance, okay. Now, I cut this track then I realized IC side there was no issue okay here was the issue and again I moved some other places see some other places in the sense actually here is the here it was the jumper here it was the jumper when I cut this side this side this side and this section was free and this side it was a problem okay this side is free and this side it was a problem so again i need to check actually here see some capacitor side here capacitors are removed then also same issue and then finally we came to this ic see here is the main part see here is the track actually ear to ear on track is there i cut this track Okay, this IC side, the track, I mean, the short has removed and uh, again, 5 volts always was the issue. And here, one more 5 volts track was going to this IC and then I cut this, then also this IC side track clear and here again, same impedance was coming. And again, here this track I cut and this IC was clear. So here, there was no issue. See, once again, I will repeat you here there was no issues there was no beep at all at the 5 volt section when i check this again this section has same impedance this ic was the last section where 5 volts will go all other tracks and all other ic's we removed and we checked but finally the result was zero mean it was beep okay if we give the uh, voltage if we inject the voltage again there is a chances to increase the issues so that's why i was wondering where we have to check the main thing is here i thought to remove this ic and check even though it is a good i thought to remove because the 5 volts track already is there but we can't tell exactly where was the issue so that's why simply i removed this this is actually cpu ic okay 
when i removed this cpu ic then the impedance was here it was get clear okay it it got clear see the main intention i will tell you wherever you check there was no 5 volts short in this okay 5 volt short was not there then also this short got removed why this is called advanced level because it had internal short with this particular ic this ic actually i already told you thermal camera no one i mean that common people won't be having well, they can't afford it okay and the growing technicians so for them i'm telling you the related the trick is what are the related 5 volts ic's you need to open and you need to check again the main thing is the main concept is this track had internally short with the 5 volts track okay that is the logic here internally it was short and it got rectified finally okay this is the cpu ic this one we need to order second thing is this this ic is what type c pdi ic and one more ic was 5 volts always ic okay these three ic were the issues and if you give if you inject now here the 5 volts track again we will need to uh, join those things if you give the voltage if you inject the voltage then you will get 100% 5 volts voltage okay so here was the trick how to solve the uh short in advanced level because internally if it is short then it will be the problem exactly where and what i see was the issues if you have thermal camera then it will be heating if you inject the voltage then you can't identify the heat on that particular ics that time what you will do you will return the motherboard okay or you may damage some other part also you will give 1 volts 2 volts 3 volts 5 volts and if you exceed that definitely internally completely it will get short okay please don't do that please don't inject the voltage by your tricks by in cold test only try to solve those kind of issues that's it i know this is not much important to many people but who are already suffering for this kind of uh, headaches for them i made this so i am sorry if uh, it is a very silly video for them please excuse me and uh, who are uh, entering in this field newly for them this trick was there hope this video was the was the useful to you people okay thank you thank you very much bye bye